Do you have a TS-80 and are you tired of seeing this? Well, I have a fix for that. I'll show you how to do it. First thing, you need to check your software version and make sure you're on version 1.06. You can tell right when you plug in 1.06. We're going to upgrade this to version 1.07. And here's how you do it. Okay, first thing you're gonna need to get to do is to go to the Miniware uh, forum here, and I'll put the this, the link to this in the description below. Uh, click on Material Download for the TS80 soldering iron, and here it's kind of a repository for all the current and uh, past firmwares. 1.06 is what comes on the soldering iron, at least mine from the factory. Uh, and we need version 1.04 and we don't want the source code unless you want to go in and tweak things We just want this one here So go ahead and click on that to download it once you have it downloaded go ahead and extract it and you should see a file called TS80 v 1.07 hex and this is the firmware file Okay, the next thing you need to do is take your soldering iron and your USB-C cable and connect it to your computer don't connect your soldering iron yet. We're gonna to need to connect the soldering iron in the DFU mode. So hold the uh, the button that's closest to the you know the hot pokey bit on the soldering iron. Hold that down while connecting your soldering iron, and it should say DFU. Your computer is gonna freak out because it doesn't really know what's going on, and you should get a uh, a new device that shows up. Go ahead and open that up and take that hex file and drop it into that new device. And what that's doing, that's writing the new firmware to your soldering iron. And at this point, you can go ahead and disconnect your soldering iron and reconnect it. Don't hold any buttons and it should say version 1.07 now. We'll go ahead and heat it up. And I'm using a quick charge 2.0 power supply. Um, my battery bank seems to not have that low volt problem, but this, this power supply I'm using always does it. And we'll go ahead and turn it off. And there you go. It's fixed. Anyways, quick and easy fix, uh, update the firmware. Let me know if you find any bugs or any issues with this firmware. Uh, I haven't found any yet, but you never know. Uh, I might use it a little bit different than a lot of other people. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, comment section below. And as always, happy flying.